right, welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to showcase my setups. I have two different setups. This is upstairs. This is gonna be my bedroom. This is a TCL 55 inch 4K TV. It's not the greatest TV, but it does a trick. Um, right beneath that, we have the LG 4K DVD player, 4K Blu-ray player, 4K HD high ultra hd blu-ray so that's where i watch my 4k movies uh right here i have my nintendo this is the 2ds xl and it's hacked so a lot of my systems are hacked that is the camera for the ps4 i think it's a ps3 camera i don't know but it works with the ps4 uh next to that we have a raspberry pi 4 with retro uh arch uh retro pi it has a touch screen, so that's pretty cool, and it's, it can become like a portable gaming system. Raspberry Pi 4B, 4 gigs of RAM, so I think it's powerful as an emulation uh, machine. Not a complete desktop replacement. Underneath that, we have the PlayStation 4. That's the Star Wars edition with a controller, just a random blue controller. Right here, we have a Nintendo 64, which I haven't hooked up yet. But I love that Nintendo 64. That's the smoke, the black smoke. Next to it is the PlayStation Classic. That's the PS1. And it's also hacked and it has a ton of games. I'll leave links for all these stuff if you're interested. Oh, almost forgot about you. Uh, my handy dandy PS3, which is also a Blu-ray player if I want to go that route. But I play my retro, retro PS3 games there. I got some games in the library and, and this puppy. That's an Amazon Echo with a speaker. I haven't connected, but this is a battery operated speaker. Really, really useful and it's really loud. This is by 97. I'll leave the link in the description via Amazon. Really love that thing. Um, I have in my other house, my setup was I had two of these. And since it was one floor, I could set up the music to run on both at the same time, which was amazing. Very cool. Down here on the floor, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have that much space. I have this Sony. This is the Sony, oh, I forgot, C. Let's see if we can find the name of it. Ah, DVP CX995V of like Victor. This is a beast. This has 400 disc capacity. It's a little dirty right now, I'm sorry. But look at that. Super Audio CD, compact disc, Dolby G D Digital, HDMI. I have it packed, you can see there. Packed with DVD. So that's where my DVD collection resides. That one's connected to my TV. I wanna watch a Blu-ray. I wanna watch a DVD movie. I'm all set up for this lockdown. 400 movies, that's a ton. That is the TV, you know, quick overview right there. So now let's look at the PC side. So, all right, so the PC side is not as exciting. Uh, there's the Wi-Fi router for my internet company. My little microphone that I use when I'm recording. I do have a dual screen setup crappy Microsoft uh, keyboard it's backlit so that's okay my headset crappy little <laughs> mouse here's my PC so this used to be back in the day like my my main baby but now it's old a cat took a leak on it destroyed the video card destroyed a whole bunch of stuff on it so had to redo it and it's just crappy. I'm gonna have to redo that one. So that's the PC where all the magic happens with editing, which I don't do much. And you can see I'm still unpacking. Oh, that's my kids toys, a whole bunch of them over there. So that's it, that's, that's my handy dandy PC setup. Now we are going to go to the main theater room. So let's go there. All right, so this is my entertainment center you already seen my collection 
I did a whole video. Um, I'll probably leave a little car there. But now, that's the projector screen. So if you can see, you know, I'll get, get a bit of a, a, a scale. I believe that's two and a half meters by one point something meters high. That's, that's a lot. Um, one speaker there, the other one fell off. So it's sitting right there. One on the bottom. I'm not going to drill more holes on this. This is temporary solution. I'll be moving out. Here we have a whole bunch of stuff. That's a Defender's um, toy set. It's like the subway. And then we have a whole bunch of other stuff here. Uh, Star Wars Special Action Set, my 2099 complete set that I sent out to get uh, bound. That's really nice. It's their books. Just Imagine signed by Stan Lee. Uh, Virtual Boy. Over here we have my PS4, the Death Stranding version. It's in the box. I'm not going to get it out right now because I already have. You'll see. That's the Neo Geo box. Over here we have my Superboy. Oh, come on. Focus. There you go. We have an old school Mickey Mouse uh, telephone. It still works. Pretty cool. We have some Amazon uh, cameras. We have Alexa. Hi Alexa. She doesn't want to talk right now. Hi Alexa. Hi Alexa. No? Okay. That's fine. Um, Sorry. I don't know that one. Okay. Oh, all right. Thank you. This is covered because we rescued a puppy and she is very destructive. She grew out, out of that phase, but she destroyed the whole couches. Uh, before I leave to the States, I'm going to send them to get fixed and sell them. So that's my solution right now. Down here, we have my controller table. This is a locally bought little entertainment uh, center coffee table. It's a old school NES controller. It's not functional. There's glass and it's just wood. It looks really nice. But what we have here is the SNK Neo Geo, the ASP, the Arcade Stick Pro with a companion gamepad. This I game on that. So that's pretty cool. Then we have a plethora of controllers. That is the Destiny 2, that is the Spider-Man, that is the Star Wars, and that is the Death Stranding controller for the PS4. We have an 8-bit though for the switch and uh, the PlayStation classic so that's pretty cool we have the little thing for the switch I forgot what that's called uh, regular uh, you know wired controller for the switch and then let's see how do we game there oh, we got some pictures there so here I have the projector that's a BenQ W 1070 a little bit to the side because I miscalculated on how this was going to be placed. I thought it was going to under mount it, but it worked out like that. This is a 1080p projector and 3D. I've had this puppy for like 10 years, so the lamp is going out soon. So, eh, pretty, pretty good projector. I will recommend. I'll leave a link in the description with this guy. It's, it's an amazing projector. Then down here, if you get out of the brightness we have a little entertainment thing because the projectors up here we need a surround sound so this is an Onkyo 5.2 I believe it is uh, I forgot what number this is it probably says it right here somewhere let's see if we can find the nomenclature of this no I can't see it it's pretty sturdy it has a whole bunch of hdmi inputs it's lasted a while so it's it's pretty good so that's the whole entertainment center that's the main brains the everything connects to it, it all the hdmis go here one hdmi goes out to the projector and then this thing powers all the speakers and the subwoofer which is a monoprice cheapy subwoofer but it, it does a, a banging sound 
Right here we have my LP, my vinyl player. Let's see if it focuses. There you go. This is an Audio Technica. This is this is the ATLP 60X. It's not a Bluetooth, but it sounds beautiful. Right here we have a generic Super Nintendo controller, and that is because we have this. This is a Raspberry Pi 3 and the Super Pi case. It's just beautiful. This thing comes off. You got power, you got eject, you can put micro SD cards here. It has a little thing here. Makes it look like you have a cartridge in there. It's just awesome. Now, we have some things that look like Nintendo cartridges, but these are Pi NES. That's what they call it. I, I built this one. HDMI. You see, it's weird, right? Well, I gutted it and I put a Pi Zero. W wireless in here, so both of these are, are like that. They have retro retro pie in them, pretty cool. Now, over here, we have a Logitech. This is the Harmony 900, I think. Um, it's, it's the 900. Where is it? Yeah, Harmony 900. This is my universal controller that controls all my things here. One press of a button, I could tell it what um, input I want, blah, blah, blah. It will turn on my projector, it will turn it off, turn on the surround sound, put the volume, and I can make it do other things. Once you're set up with everything. I can make it turn on and off the lights, etc. For the LED lights, I have that controller right there. That's an Energizer PS3 charger, even though the PlayStation 3 is upstairs. I have it here for now. I'm still trying to move things, organize it. That's my Nintendo Switch with uh, Super Mario Odyssey stickers on it. My wife loves it. That's her baby. And then we have over here the PS4 Pro Spider-Man Edition. I, I love it. That's That one and Death Stranding are the two most beautiful ones I've seen. I do want to get like the... PlayStation 3 special editions eventually. That would be really cool. But for now, I have this beauty. And oh my god, I love it. Yeah, it's all the way to the edge. No issues. So yeah, that's that's how the setup is. So if I want to watch a movie, it'll be the, the PS4 because the projector is not 4K. The 4K player is upstairs for that reason. That is it, guys, for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, any questions, let me know. Let me know in the comments. The floor is heinous. I I don't know. This is from like the 60s. And that thing is ugly. But this is not my house, so I'm renting out. Eventually, I'll move out. But that's it, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. And catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.